Hi guys. I noticed recently that several of the people whose videos I enjoy watching also enjoy writing. And I too have enjoyed writing. And uh, I think I enjoy reading about writing as much or even more than I do writing. And as a result of that, I've collected several books on the subject over the years. And um, I thought it would be kind of fun to share some of those with you, some of the ones that I like and uh, find myself going back to now and again. Uh, I realized when I looked at the ones I'd chosen, I, I've got five of them here. Um, they're not so much involved with the mechanics of writing, let's say, fiction. Uh, they're not so much about plotting or characterization or the mechanics of grammar and syntax. They're more about exploring, getting into the writer's state of mind, how writers think about things. Um, they're about awareness in general, and in many ways they're about life in general, with writing as an entry point, if you will. And I have books on uh, technique and mechanics, but the ones I've chosen are the books that I find, I guess you'd say, inspiring, for want of a better word. And, you know, they're not to everybody's tastes. If you're someone who's sitting with a manuscript that you've been working on and you know it needs work and you want some guidance with that, I'm not sure these are the books. They might be but you might be looking for something more technical. And I know some people have, are impatient with the kind of books that I'm going to show you. They feel they're um, kind of, what, airy-fairy, insubstantial. So that's a kind of caveat of the, of the, uh, about the books that I'm going to be looking at here. Because I think when I go to those kinds of books, I'm looking for inspiration. And I'm looking for a little push, maybe two. So, without further ado, I'm going to start. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to maybe make two videos. Because I'm not sure I'll get everything I want to get in in the next uh, few minutes. And I think I would prefer to uh, divide the video. The first book I want to talk about is If You Want to Write by Brenda Euland. This book was originally published in 1938. Uh, the edition that I have was uh, published, I think, in 1987, and the foreword by Brenda Euland uh, was written in 83, I think, a new foreword. I think it's a great little book. It is very encouraging. The chapter, first chapter is entitled, Everybody is Talented, Original, and Has Something Important to Say. It's encouraging without being sappy. She is, um, well, the blurb on the back describes her as sassy, and I think that's not a bad word for her. She's opinionated. Uh, she's got some very definite ideas about things. Writing is very important to her, and, well, I was going to say empowering, you know, that's kind of a, a, an overworked word in our culture. But I'll just say she's very encouraging and she gives you some useful information to use. 
and don't be too frightened of the uh, picture at the front of the book, the author's picture. I think she was a bit of an eccentric. She taught uh, a large creative writing class for some years at the uh, Minneapolis YWCA. And among her other, um, among, among her honors, she was knighted. And as far as I know, she lived in the United States and did her work in the United States. She was knighted by the King of Norway. I really don't know what to make of that, but it sounds like she had an interesting life. Anyway, that's Brenda Euland. And the subtitle of her book is A Book About Art, Independence, and Spirit. So it's on a, one of those books that's about writing, but it's also about life. Now, the next book is a popular book, Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. Uh, Natalie Goldberg has written a number of books about writing. This, to the best of my knowledge, was her first, and I think it's probably still her most popular book. She studied Zen Buddhism for a number of years under a Zen master and practices Zen meditation. And this really informs her thoughts about writing. Her let's call it unit of practice for writing is the timed exercise. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. And it's timed and it's, um, I guess you'd call it stream of consciousness. You're not to edit or worry about grammar or mistakes. It's really to circumvent the censor you write for these periods of time. And um, Natalie likes to write in public, not all the time, but this is one of her things, is to go out. Well, she mostly seems to like restaurants and bakeries because she also loves chocolate. So usually somewhere in the writing session, there's chocolate involved. Um, I've tried writing in public before, and I and I have been able to do it, but it's something that I feel a little self-conscious about. She seems to enjoy it. She goes with friends sometimes. She goes on her own. The chapters are very short, one, two, or three pages. Some of them have a little exercise for you to do at the end of them, if you wish. Uh, some of them don't. They're there are observations sometimes. Um, the one I'm looking at now is called Write Any Place, which goes along with this notion of writing in public. Why do I write is another chapter. Every Monday. The chapter headings aren't always terribly elucidating as to the contents, but they're little... Um, words of wisdom, if you will, um, invitations to write, and she says in her foreword, you can read the book from sequentially, uh, or you can dip into it. But she does talk about her approach earlier in the book, so if you're reading it for the first time, probably reading it um, sequentially is not a bad idea so that you don't miss anything. Anyway, it's a book that I really enjoy and still use. Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. And I think I'm going to leave off now and make another video for the other titles. See you later.